Welcome to Crafty Chassis, where you get to be cool and be crafty and hang out with me in the chassis. I'm Kiki, and I'm here to inspire you to be your inner artist. Each and every one of you are creative, and I am so excited to make a fun project with you today in the chassis. In this art kit, you are going to make a beautiful snowflake winter wreath. So let's go ahead and open up our kit to see what's inside. And, oh, cool. It looks like we've got a little wrapped bouquet here with ribbons, a wood snowflake cutout, some different cut wires, floral wiring, a silver hoop, paintbrush, and oh it looks like some white glitter paint before we get started let's go ahead and cover our workspace with either plastic or newspaper and then whatever clothes you're wearing just make sure that they're not too fancy just in case you get paint on it the only two things you're going to need from home are a cup of water for rinsing our brush and a pair of scissors now these can be normal scissors they should cut everything that we need to cut or if you have a little wire cutters that would work as well so first thing we're gonna do is paint our snowflake. So let's go ahead and clear out, set aside our other materials, except for our paintbrush and our paint. And we'll go ahead and start painting and have some fun. So, so you'll see the top of the snowflake has a hole and that's what we're gonna be hanging with later. So we wanna go ahead and get this painted so that we can set it aside and dry while we create the other parts of the beautiful winter wreath. So let's open up our paint here. We're gonna... All right, so you're gonna get a pretty good amount here and just start painting the snowflake. So this is a, always a relaxing process. I love painting. You're gonna get a pretty good amount on here and you can kind of see how the glitter's coming through as well. So continue painting the front of your snowflake and I'll see you back here in just a minute. All right, quick tip here while you're painting. So just make sure you're getting all the edges here as well as the front. So you can kind of get your paintbrush in here and get a good coat all around the edges and sort of inside these holes here too. So the front of my snowflake is done. So I'm going to actually set it aside to dry and then we'll have start on our next step here. Okay, so let's go ahead and untie our little bouquet here. And remember, these ribbons are gonna be part of the wreath. So we're gonna set them aside over here for now. And then let's open this up and see what we have. Oh, cool, we've got a lot of beautiful dried flower arrangement here that we're gonna use for our winter snowflake wreath. So we'll go ahead and set aside the paper. We don't need that. Um, and basically what we're going to do is figure out on our hoop kind of what we want our arrangement to be. So basically what I like to do is balance things out. So I'm going to actually make a little arrangement on this side with some of the dried flowers and then maybe one down here. And this is going to hang like this and then we're going to put our snowflake in the middle here. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, an arrangement on this side and then maybe something along the bottom part here, but you can do whatever you want. You are the artist. So, so basically what we're going to do is create little bouquets out of these dried flowers. So you'll see you have, you know, a little eucalyptus, you've got some baby's breath, some little dried uh, red flowers here. So we're going to kind of utilize each of these into the little bouquet. So what we're going to start with is take your eucalyptus and we're going to cut this actually in half. So one side will have a piece and the other side will have a piece as well. And sometimes you can just bend these two because they are dry and they should pull apart pretty easily. So, oh, it smells so good. So we have two pieces now of that. And then basically I'm just going to kind of split everything up. So so make sure when you're cutting your dried flowers that you don't cut them too short. We can always trim them later, but we can never get them back. Now that we have our two eucalyptus pieces cut, let's go ahead and set those down in their own separate piles. And we're gonna just build each pile with some of the other dried flowers. I'm gonna put two of the red ones here and then take some of these green textured ones, put those one in each pile 
Same thing with this dried wheat. We're going to actually split those up. So now we have some pretty cool textures and colors. Um, same thing with this baby's breath. We're just gonna cut up a little bit and piece here and there. And when you're thinking about making these bouquets, you want sort of the heavier, thicker pieces towards the back and then the lighter weight baby's breath towards the front. So we're really just putting these together and just sort of seeing how we like it. Um, now you don't have to use all of these dried flowers. Um, if you want it to be less, that's totally fine. It's up to you because you are the artist. And then this eucalyptus is actually going to kind of be in the back as well. So, so one thing you can do is just tear off a little bit of this eucalyptus leaves so that you have a little more stem to work with here for the wiring. So now I'm going to actually add this into the back and get all of these together here. Okay, so I'm liking the way that this is looking. So basically what we're gonna do now is wrap this with the longer piece of wire. Um, so basically take the longer piece of wire and we're going to just tie it around like this really simply, but you wanna make sure that you're getting all of the stem pieces of each of the dry flowers behind here. So once you get your first wrap done, that's probably the most important one. And then we can continue wrapping this around. So you're just holding it and then you're really, you want it to be pretty snug. So make sure that you're wrapping it pretty tightly around to hold everything together. And then once you, once you get it around a couple of times, you can kind of work on getting it tightened. So we're gonna wrap this around quite a few times because we want it to be pretty secure and make sure that it's really tight. And again, make sure that you've got all of the stems together. Now don't worry about this wiring because we're going to actually cover that up with ribbon. So that's the big secret of hiding the wire. Okay, so now you can see we've got this tied together pretty good, everything's staying together. And I'm going to actually bring up my metal hoop and I am going to now connect this with the additional wiring around the hoop. So again, just we're gonna wrap it quite a few times and you want it to be really secure here around the hoop. Now don't worry about exact placement at this point. I mean, we can kind of move this around, but we wanna make sure it's pretty tight. So again, just wrap the wire around the metal hoop. And then as you're looking at this, you'll wanna just kind of try to adjust it a bit and then keep why keep tying it around again making sure it's really pretty tight here so you've got a pretty secure connection and don't worry again about the wiring we're going to cover that up so be careful with the wiring it could be a little sharp on the edges but overall this is kind of what i've got coming together at the moment so as you can see, we can hang this this way, we can hang this up and down, we can move this down just a bit here. But overall, you know, it's pretty secure. Obviously this thing's not gonna be blowing in the wind outside or anything, but um, you can kind of move things around and make it, make sure that you have your different layers and everything how you want them. All right, now that I have the first bouquet tied on to the hoop, Let's go ahead and paint the backside of our snowflake and then also repeat this process and make your second bouquet. And I'll see you back here in just a minute. 
All right, I painted the other side of my snowflake, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry. And then my other little bouquet is ready to tie on to the metal hoop. So this is the front of it. And I am thinking I want this second piece over here. Now, remember these are dried flowers, so they're very brittle. So you wanna be pretty careful when you're using the wiring, just be gentle with it so it doesn't break. But I'm gonna actually tie mine around here and again, I wanted to have sort of the red sprig of flowers out to the front here. Um, and again, just kind of wrapping this around and you all can choose your placement where you want your uh, flowers to be. And I will see you back here after we tie this other bouquet on. So I'm gonna actually put it sort of down here in this lower corner here. So again, just kind of be careful wrapping this, but we're gonna go ahead and grab it pretty tight around where the wire is and then just go ahead and wrap it around the hoop. And you're gonna pull it as you're, you're gonna pull it pretty tight as you're wrapping it around. So make sure that it's really snug here and holding everything in place. All right, so that's what it looks like in the back. And then this is what it looks like in the front. And again, don't worry about this wiring because we're gonna cover that up next with the ribbon. So now I'm kind of looking at this and I wanna move these down just a little bit. So just gently pull it so it's towards the bottom here. And so now we have a pretty cool looking wreath. All right, so now that we have our little bouquets here tied on with our floral wiring, we're gonna actually cover the wires up next with the ribbon. And you'll also see that you have this really kind of swirly, sparkly wood piece in here too. So I'm actually gonna work that in when I tie the ribbon on. So um, what I would suggest doing is again, lay this flat so you can kind of see what it's looking like from the top. And in order to get the ribbon, you'll see you've got a couple silver pieces of ribbon and one that's white with silver lining. And then a couple that are a little bit more uh, translucent wired ribbon. Do that. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take this solid silver piece and I'm gonna actually just put it through underneath gently, underneath this entire hoop with all of the floral wiring and everything. And I'm actually tying it right where you can see the wires. So I wanna make sure these are pretty even. I'm gonna pull them up, make them even. And then you're just gonna do a simple knot. And again, be gentle because these are a little bit brittle with the wood pieces. without tying it yet, because what I wanna do is now take some of this more translucent that has a little bit of wire in it. Again, we'll kind of get these a little bit even here. And I'm just doing like a simple bow. Now, again, you may have some different techniques that you like to use with ribbon and feel free to experiment and do what you'd like because this is your creation. So what I'm doing here is just making a very simple kind of bow shape here. And but what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm actually gonna be putting it on where we had the silver wiring. And again, tying a knot around this to connect it to the hoop. And you're gonna tie a pretty, pretty good tight knot there. And you can still kind of work with the ribbon as well. So kind of the cool thing about having wiring in the ribbon is that it actually can be sort of manipulated and you know you can kind of crunch it up around in different pieces. So I'm taking these are both long here and then I'm just gonna wrap them around itself. So I'm gonna basically take this up and then I'm tying it around so that it's a very clean look at the front of the wreath. So just tie this around through itself here. So pull both of the ends through the middle. And then again, we're gonna pull this pretty tight here.
So now we have our first ribbon tied on here that's kind of covering up the wiring. And I'm going to show you a different technique on this side that we're going to do to cover this up. So basically what I'm going to start with again is same thing. Grab if you want to include your little sparkle wood piece here. We're going to gently lay that in where you'd like it. And so we're going to actually do a wrapping technique on this one. So you're going to actually place your little wood sparkle piece in there if you want. And then when we tie our first one on here, we're going to have less ribbon on this side and more on this side. So our first knot will just actually kind of get this started here for wrapping this wrapping technique that we're gonna do. So we're gonna do again, a pretty good knot here that's fairly tight, but, and then we're, ba so basically it's just a simple knot. And now we're gonna take the excess ribbon and tie it around here a few times. Now we have our other types of ribbon as well. So we have plenty to work with, but this is just giving it a different look on this side versus the other side. So I'm just gonna kind of continue wrapping this around. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the translucent ribbon here and just again, sort of do a very simple knot and tying this around, kind of move that other ribbon around here. And again, tight, pretty tight here. So this is kind of just giving it a different look than the other side. And we can kind of get rid of the other ends if we want once we get to that point. Same thing, I'm just gonna do a simple not with this other ribbon. And for me, I kind of like this look, this little textured look here of all the ties coming together. Okay, so next thing, the next thing I'm gonna do is cut some of this excess stems off. So just again, be really careful when you're cutting, kind of do it individually. And it's okay to have some showing, but I just didn't want them to be so long. All right, so now that we've cut off the excess stems here, I am actually just kind of rearranging some of these ribbons around. And for this particular one, I'm gonna actually do um, a tying technique in the front with different ribbons tied together to kind of give it a cool look. So again, we're just gonna lay this flat. This is just another idea I have. And again, you can do anything that you'd like with yours, but this, if I'm tying them all kind of different lengths together and kind of creates a little pretty little bouquet tie here. All right, so I'm just finishing up this glitter paint here and that shouldn't take too long to dry. So we'll go ahead and set this aside while we finish up our ribbon. Cool, that's really sparkly now, so I like it. All right, so let's set that aside and rinse out your brush and close up your paint so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the bows, kind of two different styles here. One is uh, hanging long here. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I've actually tied knots along the front. So to finish this off, I'm going to tie a double knot in the back here, and then we will cut the excess ribbon off. So just gently set this on the table. You don't wanna squish it at all, but I'm just gonna do a double knot in the back on this side, make sure it's pretty tight here. And then same thing, I'm kind of just tying it together, all the excess ribbon. Okay, so as you can see, the back of this has all of the double knots on it and the front side is just kind of a really cool design here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess ribbon off now. And this is gonna be kind of the back of the wreath. So it still looks pretty with uh, the loose ends here. 
All right, I'm liking the way that that is looking. So next we're going to go ahead and hang our snowflake and actually add the hanger to the top of this. You'll see that in your kit you have a hook and the easiest thing to do with this hook is um, get it onto the snowflake first because this twirly end is a little bit more complicated. Now your hook might be a little bit different than this one that's in your kit, but you just want to kind of get the snowflake on the hook and then we will tie it onto the wreath. So, so this is what the hook is looking like. So what you'll want to do is make sure that if there's a twirl on your hook that you'll want this facing out. So towards the front of the wreath. Okay. So you'll see that you have a Another kind of string here that's kind of white and silver. That's what we're going to use for tying the hook on. So basically, let's put the string into the hook. And then we're going to just do a very simple knot here. And then this will kind of show you visually how far you want this snowflake to hang. So I think I want mine kind of right in that area, I think. So basically, I'm taking this string, the two strings together, and I'm going to wrap the two strings around. And then you're going to go the two strings through the knot hole here. And then just pull it pretty tight. But, um, and then on the top, just to finish the top of the string for the hanger, again, just go around itself, two strings together. And then Two strings through the middle here. And then just pull it pretty tight. All right, I am really loving the way that this wreath turned out and I hope that you are too. So thank you so much for getting crafty today with me in the chassis. Please check out our other art kits at craftychassis.com for shipping and delivery. So until next time, be cool, be crafty, and I'll see you soon in the chassis.